Growth charts are a tool used by pediatricians to help track your child's physical development. There are many different types of growth charts, and in this video, we will look at the three most important things that you should understand. How to read the growth chart, percentiles, and trends. Number one, how to read the growth chart. This is a growth chart for boys from birth to 36 months, looking at their length and weight. As we move from left to right, you can see your child's age in months. On this growth chart, you will see two parts. The top shows length, which is your child's height measured in centimeters or inches. The bottom shows your child's weight measured in kilograms or pounds. For example, this point tells us that he was 27 inches tall when he was nine months old. Number two, percentiles. This line is called a percentile and it gives us an idea of how most healthy children will grow. Let's take a look at an example to better understand what this means. This child falls on the 35th percentile for height. This means that 35% of boys his age will be shorter than him. It is important to remember that a higher number does not mean better and a lower number does not mean worse. Growth is determined by many factors, so rather than just looking at the percentile, you and your pediatrician should focus on the trend. Number three, trends. A trend is a general direction in which something is changing. As your child grows older and your pediatrician takes more measurements, we can make an estimate of their growth. At any given visit, it is completely normal to expect your child to be a little above or below their projected growth. However, if your child's growth starts to cross multiple percentiles, this may indicate a health concern. There are many other resources available to help you keep track and understand your child's growth, including smartphone apps, handouts, and more detailed videos. Your involvement in your child's health is important to all of us. Feel free to discuss your child's growth chart at every well child visit and don't be afraid to ask questions.